Hey, what's up, you guys? Hope y'all doing well today. So, you also the title. This is a live unboxing and review of the Transformers Prime Robot. Not what's in this guy's Robot Enhanced Design RC. Now, to start off. I absolutely love Transformers Prime. That show, to put it very bluntly, was my childhood. That and Team and Team. Let's focus on TFP right now, shall we? So, I watched this show a lot, and it was my first ever interaction with Transformers as a brand, and what an impression it left. Oh my gosh, I'll get into it in a later video, but I want to let you know that I am extremely excited for this video. So, you can see I already kind of slipped the tape a little bit on the box, but before I open it, I thought I'd do a live unboxing just to give you all my first ever thoughts and reactions to this video. So, let's just get right into it, shall we? So, let's just take this, and slip the rest of the tape off. Come on now. Come on. Let's lift it in front of the camera. There we go. So, how are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. This is a little awkward. I'm just cut, 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 cutting up the box part and just watching me. It's a little bit awkward right now, but what are you going to do? You know? What, come on. What are you doing, knife? What are you doing? What, what are you doing? Come on now. What's the meaning of this? Though I am sorry, this is a little bit embarrassing. I'm just gonna just. There you go, much easier. Use a knife, anyways, you got your hands. Alright, y'all, here we go. Here we go. Oh, this is gonna be great. I'm not tell. It's gonna be great. Alright, let's open her up. You may not get away. Oh, this way was beautiful. Come on, come on. Unwrap yourself. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh. Oh, this. Oh, this looks fantastic. Oh, you guys. I'm having a fanboy moment right here. Oh, y'all, this looks great. Oh, I am. Oh, okay. So, I will see y'all in a minute. I'm going to open this guy up. So, this girl up. Um, play this for a while. Then come back, y'all. So, be right back. See you in a minute. Boom, we're back. So, uh, before we get into the video herself, let's take a look at the packaging first because I was kind of fanboying when I opened it up. So, let's take a better look at it, shall we? You can see on the front, I'll see herself as well as the TFP logo and her name. Cover the box, TFP logo. Oh, okay, just fall over. Uh, TFP logo on the side of the box, a rest of RC with some blades and gun action, all that kind of stuff. And on this side would be where her accessories and other hands would be stored. And on the back of the box, you can see her. No, and no, obviously in the bot mode because on most she has, as well as some special features that she has, as well as some accessories that she just come with. As well as the accessories that, that she just come with. Thank you very much. Both packaging out of the way. Um, actually, before I do that, one thing I want to take a look at is the uh, included backdrop. It's not only really backdrop, but I really do like how it's kind of like an outline of the figure. I think that's really cool and really interesting kind of design and of how to pack your figure. I really like that. You see um, some of her limbs and parts. I think it's really cool. I really like that. But attaching out of the way, let's take a look at the figure herself. Now I start off this video saying how excited and happy I was to have this figure. And just straight off the bat, I'm just going to say this figure is not perfect. It is not as good as it could be, but it is still a fantastic figure. But coming in for a closer look, you can start with her sculpt. Uh, zoom in. For you look on that. Oh, okay, just that lovely scope. You can see, oh my gosh, it just perfectly recaptures her TFP look. I love that so much. You can see that um, these pieces right here, the gold pieces, should be a pink, like a metallic pink, almost rose gold color in this. They, they wore that in the show. And if you really want to, you could probably customize that, which I probably will. But it's it, it, mine's complete. Mine's complete. You can see her lipstick and what appears to be some eyeliner around her eyes. Spiegel's eye is very animated, very screen accurate, looks very great. Um, coming down to the chest area, as you can see her breastplate, very nice, very sculpted, very nice, very screen accurate. The arms, again, every time Spiegel just sculpted fantastically. A beautiful, but, um, beautiful representation of how she appealed in the TFP show. It looks great. Again, some that gold color that is supposed to be that rose gold. Uh, I actually think I do, I will change that after this video, just to make it a bit more screen accurate, but it's not bad at all. It's still fine. 
Um, one thing that I do like is that there was absolutely no backpack whatsoever. Since this is only the bot mode, there was nothing to worry about with uh, like motorcycle parts or anything like that. So the back is just completely clean. The only thing that's out is the fins, which are all screen accurate. So I really do appreciate that. Now, before I show off the articulation or the accessories, one thing I do want to cover is the special feature that this figure does have. Um, now, don't ask me why Hasbro did this. I truly have no idea whatsoever. But if you really want to, which again, I don't know why, but you can remove for blessed play, which does reveal, um, again, some fantastic mechanical detail, but, uh, like, why Hasbro? Um, I, I, if you have some fantastic detail, don't get me wrong, it's a nice feature that we have some fantastic detailing, but I don't understand, uh, like, why you'd have this feature. I, it's like, does it, like, play into anything? Am I missing something here? It's not just all see, it's also the cheat off from this wave, but, Again, I just don't really understand why, but you can see it's held in via this uh, port on the inside, but coming to the inside of this dress plate, it's just cast in a blue plastic, but this does give you the opportunity to uh, take a look at some of the layers of the breast plate, just uh, showing off it's a bit more of a complex design, like all of those prime designs were. But again, I don't know why you would want to do this with the figures, but I mean, go ahead, I guess. Uh, but coming to the articulation, I'll focus in actually, hold on. A comfy articulation of the figure, the head's on a ball joint, I believe it is, I think it is, yeah, let me see. I think it's a ball joint, but it can get full through the, through the articulation. The head can go up a little bit, and down a little bit, N not that much. Uh, the, you have a butterfly joint, which is great to see, we'd love to see those, always, always, always. Arms can go full through the articulation, not a little bit. Uh, you do get a thigh swivel, not thigh swivel, a elbow swivel, as well as a... So that the arm goes, as well as a single jointed elbow, which bends, uh, maybe just under 90 degrees. Just, hold on. This is annoying me. One second, please. That was an, mm, come on, on camera, you're kidding me. I'll see. Come on. I'm filming. This is nice. Come on. Y'all, every video I try to shoot a toy, something always goes wrong. Transformation. Something doesn't plug in. It's always something that goes wrong. I'm telling y'all. You done? You done acting up? Thank you. Um, the wrist does on a swivel, as well as some up and down, some side movements. Beautifully done. Um, no waist swivel. I don't know why that is not included. I truly don't. It's, this is a figure that just is focusing on the bot mode. You should be able to include that. So, a bit disappointing, but it does make up with that with an, with an ab crunch. You can get a, a little bit forward. And a little bit back, which, again, it's not that great of a crunch. Um, again, could we send... Hold on. I am sorry, you guys. I am so sorry. This is annoying the heck out of me. Come on. There we go. I am so sorry. Um, Again, the, the crunch could have and should have been a bit better, but what are you going to do, you know? This piece is on a up and down movement joint, so you can... Uh, that allows for some better articulation of the legs. They can move up about that far. Yeah, yeah, that ball. And back, mm, that fall can be just up again. Let me just, doesn't stay in place on my figure very well, which is, again, not great. Just some QC issues that are getting delayed all. But, mm, yeah, back to that ball. There was a single joint bend at the knee, as well as a thigh swivel. And for the foot, you do get some pivots, 40 60 rounds, as well as some downward movement. And upward movement, which I think is actually great. I'm so glad to include that. Lots of a lot more posing options. But uh, overall, the articulation, it's it could and probably should be better, but it's nothing that I'm too too upset about. Turning to some of her accessories, you can see that she does come with a lot of them. I think it's a total of nine. But starting off with the biggest, um, I think it's supposed to be an Amazon cube. I think it is, but I'm not sure why it's purple exactly. Uh, it has a very nice corroding effect on, on two of the. Uh, edges of the cube again. I'm not sure why it's purple, but it's made out of a very firm plastic, unlike the figure itself. And I just think of it as Dark Alan John, just because it's here. It's Face Force Prime. That's a huge thing in that show. So I, 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 I it, that's inclusion, I guess, but nothing really to say about it. Um, next up is the two blasters. Of course, you get two of them. Um, I think you're a bit oversized for RC. She's a very small character. Uh, the black was maybe this this big in the show. And maybe, yeah, it's yeah, probably uh, the right width. But um, again, a bit too big. The painting is not really there. Just a bit of black here and there. But it's not bad. I, I still think the great accessories included. 
Next up are the two blades. I think these are very nice sculpted and very proportionate with the figure. Unlike that original first edition mold, they are very well proportionate. Uh, not again, not too well painted. Again, that's something I think they should have and could have done, but what are you gonna do? Next two accessories are the I think these are like effect parts for the blades, I think. I'm not really sure what they're supposed to I know those they go for the blades, but I'm not sure like like was it that supposed to be simulating, but I mean you get them. Why not? And lastly, you do get two fisted hands. Now, I do really like these as the uh, the original hands that the figure came uh, pre-installed on were the trigger hands. I'm not sure why she has trigger hands. Like, even her guns, you don't, like, they peg into her arms. They don't hold them. So, I'm not sure why she has trigger hands. I wish, I'm sorry, guys. Um, I would have much rather preferred her have, like, hands like this, so you can put her on her hips, like how she did commonly in the show, but I do think the fist hands are nice, and I will be just playing her with them, but if you do want to integrate these accessories into the figure, let me just bust it up a little bit, hold on, raise up the camera a little bit, so I can give you a bit of a better angle, there we go, you go, okay, hold on, sorry, there we go, if you do want to, you can uh, unplug the hand, you can just pull it out, come on, jeez, what's your issue, come on, Oh, gosh, that was scary. Um, that was a bit scary. But you can see they all just held in via this very small pick, which I'm not a big fan of. I think that might break and get brittle over time. So I'm not a huge fan of that really small pick. But like I said earlier, she's a very small like character and figure, so they couldn't really do much else. But you can, of course, plug in uh, the gun if you really want, if you want to. Uh, get an exact same port just, system, just plug it in. Boom. Come on, stay in there. Come on, there we go. That snaps in lovely. And again, um, I think those aren't really very proportionate. Uh, those are a bit too big for my liking, but I still think they're great accessories, and I will have a do wielding. And of course, you can have a, like I just said, do wielding. Come on, what's the other one go? Where'd it go? I'm sorry, guys. Um, I lost them. I basically lost a gun already. I just got to figure night. I lost a piece. That is great. Again, you can plug in just via that little pay and slot in the arm. And it does look very nice. Um, this side is a lo very loose. You can see, uh, very loose. Very, it's it, it's secure. It will stay in, but it like it won't fall out. But it's very loose. There's something to be notable about that is on your figure. Uh, you can give her the fisted hand. This is the wrong side. This is there we go. Again, the same port system. Port peg. Plug them in. Come on. Jesus is not working too well, is it? There we go. Again, I think like the fisted hands a bit better. I will be displaying her with such, but it does look very nice. Again, very, very nice. Um, you can plug in the blades. You can see a small slot down here, as well as a uh, tab on the upper section of the blades. So you can, of course, plug them in if you want to. Like, so, come on. Come on now, come on, come on. There we go. There we go. Now it's snapping very nice and securely again. Does look very nice again. Lack of pain is not great, but it's very proportionate. I do appreciate that. Does look very cool. And you can have for uh, wielding the blaster and the blade on the same hand. You can see uh, pull again on the other side of the arm. This blaster doesn't handle the blade at all. You can still have him. You can have both out at the same time. Doesn't really matter. Um, but as for myself, oh, never mind. Actually, these little pieces right here. So, I do believe that they plug into the top of the blade. Like, I can, come on, there we go. Again, I'm not sure what that's simulating. Maybe like, like, a, like a whoosh, 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 whoosh motion when she's cutting. Yeah, maybe. Uh, it, again, it's an inclusion. So, I mean, I'm not going to complain about it. You just another accessory, but I'm not sure why that's there. For some comparisons, um, I wish I could give you all some comparisons with the other RED figures, but um, I didn't pick up any. I didn't pick up any of the Wave One. Just didn't look like anything worth picking up. The QC is usually out of control with that wave, so I didn't pick any of them up. I don't currently have Cheeto, but here's just compared next to the Zero Two Attack Prime, which is just a third party figure, party third party figure. I'm sorry, uh, of the TFP. 
Alchemist Prime. I think they look great together. I'll definitely be splitting them together. And again, they look great together. I just love the scale. Um, of course, it's not perfect. She should really be like right here. But again, what are you going to do? Nasty Fuel is actually able to get that scale just right. So again, not bad. Just looks great. Next to the Studio Series 71 Star Scream, which, which is a relatively new figure. Here she's compared next to some of the old 20, uh, 2010, 2011, and 2013 TFP figures. And again, the scaling obviously isn't there. I mean, she's taller than Ratchet and almost as tall as Bulkhead. So again, the scaling isn't really there, but I think if you have them post together, it will look great. And hopefully the RID line or APC's toys, which released the Arcanist I just showed y'all, will release new and updated versions of these figures. And finally, here she is compared next to my crappily custom painted R.I.D. R.C. Now, th these two each have good things about them. This one can transform and is a bit smaller, it's a bit of a scale. This one has a better bot mode and way more better and more accurate accessories. So, if you were really looking for a definitive TFP R.C., if you wanted the best looking one, then I'd have to pick this one. But if you wanted a transformable one that is good with scaling and just standing poses, then I think this one is better. Which, again, they both have great things about them, but I think for me, the contest has to go with this one. So, I'm sorry, I'll see you've officially retired your spot in my collection. So, there you go, you guys. There's my review of the TFP RED RC. Um, in my opinion, she's not perfect. I'll start by saying that. There are definitely some things I think should have been changed, like... Some of the colors on the figure, like that, uh, that, that kind of bronze gold should have been a very rose gold. And I don't know why it's made that out of that very gummy plastic. I, I, I have no idea why it's made out of that kind of rubbery plastic. And, you know, some of the blasters are a bit too big for my taste, but it's still a fantastic figure. I, I still really enjoy it. And for $20, you're definitely getting your bang for your buck. Um, You know, like I was saying, she's not a bad figure at all. I still highly recommend her to any TFP fan. But with that being said, Thank you all so much for tuning into this review. If you did enjoy, please like, share, and subscribe. That really does help me out more than you could possibly imagine, especially now since I'm first starting out. But with that being said, again, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you on the next one. Have a good day, everybody. Bye. Hey, guys. If you made it in the video, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Um, So, a couple things. One, I have a new tripod. It comes with a light. Very nice, very convenient. So, I'll try to give you all some better lighting in the next couple of your, uh, reviews. Next up, um, which one do you still want to review of first? The APC's Attack Prime or the Studio Series 71 Star Screen? Put it down below. And lastly, um, I have a new roommate. She's very cute. And she's wants to make that sound at the beginning of this little segment. So thank her and say hi. All right, bye guys. Have a good day. See you later.